When it comes time to synchronize your entire project to a certain tempo or synchronize yourself to the beat, Nuendo offers you extensive metronome and tempo control options. This also includes a flexible tempo track editor that allows you to make dynamic changes to your master tempo anywhere within your project. In this movie tutorial, we'll cover these options in detail and learn how to make effective use of them in your projects. There are three main areas that you will deal with when setting up and making changes to your tempo and metronome options. First is the metronome setup window found in the main transport menu. Here you have various options for both your MIDI and audio metronomes. You also have your on-off toggle button for the metronome within the transport bar. Next is the tempo settings also found within the transport bar. Here is where you set the tempo mode and the actual BPM being used. Third is the Tempo Track Editor. This is a unique editor that allows you to automate and change the BPM tempo of the entire project at any time during the timeline. This is the perfect tool when your project calls for dynamic changes in timing and tempo. Now let's get in a little closer and see how these options actually work. The basic method for activating your metronome and setting the BPM is done within the transport bar. Simply click on the click track option and you will hear the metronome click coming from the main output bus of the VST channel mixer. To set your BPM, you simply click in and type in a new value. However, both have various options to help customize it more to your liking. Starting off with the metronome setup, these options are used to determine the behavior of Nuendo's main metronome sound, commonly referred to as a click track. Nuendo can generate both a MIDI click and an audio click track. Within the setup page, you have options to use one or both at any time. The MIDI click settings give you control over the desired MIDI notes used for high and low notes and velocities, as well as the ability to choose the output port and MIDI channel. What's cool about this is that you can actually use a virtual instrument to generate your MIDI click track. Any VST instrument plugins you have inserted in the VST instrument rack will show up in the list of available outputs. This gives you the ability to really customize exactly what type of sound you want for your click track. Audio click is generated internally to Nuendo and is always heard on the main output bus of the VST channel mixer. Next, you have several options to determine the playback behavior of the click track. You can choose exactly when the click track plays and choose from a list of available time signatures. Finally, you can set up a pre-count option for the click track. This lets you tell Nuendo how many times to count down before starting the transport. Very handy for making sure you're in sync with the tempo before the recording process actually begins. To activate the pre-count option, you simply click the pre-count button located in the transport bar. Moving on, we have our main tempo section within the transport. Here is where you determine the BPM and tempo modes to be used within your project. There are two tempo modes available. The first is Fixed Mode. This sets a fixed BPM for the entire length of your project. You can also set a fixed time signature if needed. The second mode is the Track Mode. This tells Nuendo to follow the BPM and time signatures of the tempo track. Think of the tempo track as an automation track for your BPM and signatures. This allows you to make smooth or abrupt changes in tempo anywhere within the project. To edit the tempo track, you choose Tempo Track from the main project menu. The editor that appears gives you a full track layout of the entire project with the current timeline and a value scale showing you the entire range of possible BPM values. Above this range, you have a display window that shows the current BPM your mouse pointer is hovering over when moving around in the editor. To insert a change in the tempo, simply choose the Draw tool. Find the exact location in your project where you need the tempo to change, then click to insert a new tempo marker. If you want the change in tempo to ramp over time, then simply insert a marker slightly before the change in tempo and a jump will be created. Then highlight both markers and choose the ramp option and a smooth ramp will automatically be created. Nuendo will change the tempo gradually over time to reach the new tempo. Inserted tempo changes are reflected in all the timelines found in every editor. This ensures that you are able to use the grid for proper layout and placement of your events, 
no matter what tempo you are at. So let's take a quick look at how we can put this to use within a project. Here I have a score piece that I've written. If you notice, the impact when the percussion part kicks in is rather weak. If we were to speed it up, it could definitely give it a better sense of excitement and power. However, we don't want to change the tempo of the string section, so we'll insert a tempo change right at the first bar when the percussion section kicks in. It's very easy. First, we'll activate tempo track mode. Then, I'll set my cursor playback position at the point where I want the tempo to change. Now, I'll open up the tempo editor and switch to the draw tool. We'll bring the tempo up to 120 BPMs for the percussion part. I'll move the mouse over the current cursor position and move it upwards until I see 120 appear in the tempo display found in the upper left hand corner of the editor and then click. Now I've inserted a tempo change. We'll leave it as an abrupt jump since we want it to change immediately when the percussion line begins. Okay, let's check it out now and see how it works. Wow, that's much better. It definitely has a stronger impact than before. So to wrap things up, we've covered the metronome and tempo functionality within Nuendo. It offers extensive metronome options to suit your specific playing and music writing needs, as well as extensive tempo editing, making it easy to place in dynamic timing changes to film scores, music production, or any other type of project that requires you to have full control over the pace and timing. With the ability for the timeline to reflect these tempo changes, it's a breeze to continue arranging and editing your material no matter how dynamic the tempo changes may be.